ass West Slope boy. Good morning, everyone. It is your girl, Cassandra Olivia, and happy December 1st. I hope everybody is ready for the holidays, not stressing too much, and just grinding out there because I know I have been. I do apologize in a lot of my videos around the holidays because I've been super busy. But without further ado, if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are not new, welcome back, gang, gang. Okay, so today's video, I have a new client. She actually lives in Japan, so shout out to you, Xavier. She's super amazing. I got to know her. Um, this session took about, I'll say, four to five hours. It wasn't too long, including the press, but she let me do the honor of doing her first hair color. Um, a little bit about her. She's all natural, and she's about a level three slash four on the ends, so I'm just going in with some lightener. I am using my Swartzkopf Blami um, clay lightener with a 20 volume, okay? So I wanted to take her hair low and slow. We're just going to create some multi-dimensional balayage, and she just told me that she basically wanted blonde, but she wanted a more grown-out look because she is in the military as well, so thank you for your service, girl, on top of that. And um, she just wants to make sure that when she's away from where I am, because she lives across the world, that her hair color still looks nice. So we opted to do like a grown out look. So that way she won't have to come in too often to get touch ups. And she told me she'll be back in Delaware in about six to eight months. So when she does come back, we're going to retouch her hair up and everything. But we just wanted to go with something that was pretty low maintenance, which is why I'm not really doing too much with the roots. And I'm not even going to do a shadow root because I want to leave her natural hair color. So that way she's not like, oh, my God, what's going on when it grows out? I know that was a freaking mouthful, but I just want to explain to you guys the method behind my madness. Every client is different. And of course, you guys already know I do a hair color consultation for every client. So this is the actual appointment that we scheduled at the consultation. If you guys want more details on how to do my consultations, I can definitely do a rundown of that or have like maybe a come consult with me. But I do a very thorough consultation, like your hair color history, lifestyle information, if you're on medication, if you're stressed out, so on and so forth, if you're high maintenance, low maintenance, and we go from there. I do also do a strand test and a patch test. Um, you learn this in hair school, but I do this to make sure, one, that the hair can handle a coloring service, and then to also make sure that my client will not have an allergic reaction. So we already did all of that, and this is the appointment that I scheduled for her. Um, typically, when I do hair color clients, I like to just come in on an off day and I only book maybe one to two hair coloring clients a day, um, sometimes three if it's something simple like a black or a touch up. But at most, I will do three hair color clients, but it really depends on the service. OK, so you just want to make sure when you are doing a coloring service that you give yourself adequate time. So, for example, I told this particular client that it was going to take me six hours. Did it really take me six hours? No, I think we actually got done two, like two hours early. So I'm um, start to finish doing her balayage, toning her, waiting for the process, doing her press, doing her Olaplex treatment, all of that I include timing for. And I also let them know at the consultation what to wear. So I always joke around, say, don't bring your Louis Vuitton purse and your Louis Vuitton sneakers and, you know, your, your Burberry and all of that designer clothes because you don't want to damage your clothes. So I always tell them to wear something old and dingy. And I do the same as well. So I have literally two specific pair of pants that I normally wear when I do hair coloring clients. One is a black pair of scrubs and the other one are just like a pair of black pants that I have like speckles of lightener on. And I wear those because, again, I don't want to damage my clothes either. And you can wear a cape. Sometimes I do. I'm not a cape. A smock. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. It really just depends. So here, again, I'm doing balayage, which is kind of hard for me to explain. I've only done balayage, to be honest, guys, probably three or four times in my whole career. Because a lot of people, for some reason, don't ask for it. Um, where I'm from, people like all over, like multidimensional. But I'm really excited that she was like, go in and do your thing. I love being able to have free range and just kind of freestyle based off of what the client wants but it's funny um I actually have four balayage clients coming up this week so I was just like wow I haven't done this in forever and now I have people booking it back to back so now I'm just going in around the back of her hairline I'm adding a little bit of hairline detail so whenever I do balayage I like to customize around the hairline the reason why I do this is because just in case she wants to wear her hair up in a ponytail or a bun, which she's going to have to do anyway because she's in the military, you want to make sure that she has some depth and some color contrast in the back. You don't want it to be all dark in the back and then bright at the top. So I like to go in and just pull out some little fine hairs. I'll weave them out 
small weaves and I'll add some chunky highlights and some very fine highlights just in the very back section around the perimeter of the head as well and then I'll work towards the middle and again that's so that way she parts her hair down the middle wants to wear high pony low pony she'll have color and dimension all throughout her hair it won't just be color on the top so you guys can pretty much watch me apply this I will drop everything that I use in the description box below you guys already know that and I just want to say shout out to my followers and subscribers. You guys really do rock out with me when I take my breaks or hiatuses or whatever the case may be. I just, I really do appreciate and notice all you guys. And I also appreciate you guys taking the time out to comment and show love. That does mean the world to me. I try to respond to as many as I can, but this channel is growing super fast and I just cannot possibly get to everybody. So I just want to shout you guys out here if I have not already. Um, starting for the new year 2022, I do want to start shouting out my subscribers. So I'm going to figure out a way to incorporate that. Maybe I'll do like the first couple comments or my favorite comments or something like that. But I just want to be able to show you guys some love and let you guys know that I do appreciate you taking the time out your day to not only watch my content, but to share it, to learn from it, to message me, DM me, send me pictures of inspiration, um, use me as inspiration pics, my clients, um, or showing me like you guys recreating things. I really do appreciate that. So I'm just very grateful again. So just had to get that out the way. So I'm literally just balayaging her. And I am using um, regular, full, not foil, what is this? Regular saran wrap because for some reason, the only product that I do not like by Framar is their like their saran foil or what is this? Saran wrap, cling wrap, whatever they call it because the packaging always just does me dirty. So this is Framar um, wrap or the foil or it's not foil. I keep saying that. It's Framar saran wrap, like how you get in the supermarket. But I'm just going in and just cutting it out and just making sure to section the hair so that way the blonde that I previously do does not sit on top of other sections. It's all separate. So now she's been shampooed, rinsed out. We did her Olaplex number two treatment. I also did an Olaplex number eight moisture mask. And now I'm just going in with Olaplex number six, putting that in prior to blow drying, just making sure that her curls are nice and healthy. She's liking it already. I did blow dry her off camera and I am gonna press her off camera just because this video is super long. And I plan on doing, I guess, a more detailed version of this on a mannequin for my upcoming uh, coming hair coloring classes. So be on the lookout for that. I will be sure to link them in the description. You guys already know my YouTubers always get a um, discount code. So I just want to show you guys how it looks. And what I was talking about when you pull it up, we were definitely going for grown out and it was giving what it needs to give. And now I'm just going to show you guys how it looks when it's all pressed out. And then I'm also going to add in her videos that she sent me um, while she was um, visiting in a way and just how her hair looks in general. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. She just looks so bomb here. And she told me that this is how she'll normally wear her hair. So I wanted to make sure that when she straightens it and when it's curly, it looks good both ways. And this is pretty much the end of this video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out or comment down below or DM me on Instagram or shoot me an email. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm Audi and I hope everybody has a wonderful and productive day. Bye.